everybody, welcome to the Comic Game Movie Show. My name is Tashani. Today, I am here to ask you a question. Now, I've already gotten some comments in my comment section that sort of already answers this question for me, but I gotta ask it anyways. Can Blade be done not R-rated? Or can Blade be done PG-13? Does Blade have to be R-rated? And the question kind of came to me because... I saw some comments in my comment section, of course, you know, talking about how, oh, well, Blade's got to be R-rated. I've made uh, multiple videos talking about why Disney isn't going to do, um, have an R-rated thing on, um, R, um, R-rated stuff on the Disney, on Disney Plus, and why, um, and why Marvel isn't going to have any R-rated stuff, you know, in the MCU proper. Um, some report came out, uh, it's already been a big announcement that, you know, they got, um, they're doing Deadpool, but even that, I think is something different, but I might get into that a little bit later, either in this video, I'll make a separate video about the Deadpool thing that came out the other day. Really, it wasn't, I wasn't feeling too urgent to make a video about Deadpool, because I felt like we all kind of already knew that they were going to do Deadpool. All the questions around Deadpool aren't that if they're going to do a Deadpool 3, it's how they're going to do a Deadpool 3. Is Ryan Reynolds going to feel some kind of way if they're going to make a big change? Is it going to be in the MCU? Is it not going to be in the MCU? All the questions around Deadpool 3 had nothing to do about will they be a Deadpool 3. Only person who believed that shit was Rob Liefeld and that dude's fucking, that dude's just off on his own goddamn shit right now. Anywho. Blade. Through all that, <laughs> getting back on topic, I ended up re-watching the Blade trilogy. Well, I ended up re-watching Blade 1 and 2. Um, because they're both on, um, both, all the, the, all the, the trilogy, but let's be real, just one and two, because you don't really need to see the third one, um, are on Hulu right now. They're, both of them are on Hulu, so I just, you know, I just looked at them. Um, and after I watched the first one, it dawned on me, especially the first one and the second one, it dawned on me. Blade Def, Blade, like, the Blade, at least the Blade from those two movies can be done. It can be done. Like, 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 I was watching it, and I was like, you know what? This totally could be done PG-13, like, borderline PG-14, like, PG-14, like, 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 about, like, you know, like, I'm trying to remember which show is like, like, you know, this could be done PG-13 or borderline PG-14 or whatever, like, on, on the cusp of R-rated. Because when I looked at that movie, I realized that the reason Blade was rated R had little to do with actual things that were important to the movie. Outside of the blood rave, it wasn't really, like, there was never any other scenes in the movie that the brutalness, that the, the, that the visceral violence was, was like, well, okay, not that the, the violence is important, my bad, let me, let me, let me start to say this. The things that you could take out to make it PG-13 could be taken out. For instance, you don't have to have vampires drinking people and the blood just squirting all over the place and like just bloodiness, you know, you don't really need all that. By simply, have, you could just simply have the vampires biting people, and you know what's happening. You don't have to see blood going all over the place. You don't have to see some of the nastier things, like some of the nastier aspects of Blade. Some of the stuff that they had in there that was unnecessary. You don't have to have all the language. There's no. You don't have to have too much of the language. There's no need for certain things. And like, really, looking back, like, um, because um, a lot of people don't know this. And, and I don't want to be the guy to educate people. And I, I sort of educate people on this. Like, the um, the rating system has evolved over the years, right? Like, um, Indiana, Jones is it, 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 Indiana Jones is considered a PG-13 movie, but Indiana Jones wasn't always considered a PG-13 movie. Like, um, either, either, no, my bad. I think either A, it, it's either one, it's either the other way, or the way I just said it. Um, it's either A, Indiana Jones was, would have been considered an R-rated movie today, but back then it was considered PG-13, or it's the other way around. I can't remember which one it is. Um, I think it was would have been considered, like, not good for kids to watch, but now today it's okay. Because even watching Indiana Jones, I was like, there's some pretty violent things in there. I mean, a dude's head just melts off. But, um, <laughs> I digress. Um, Indiana, like I said, Indiana Jones, like, that would have been considered something different as well. And, like, the, the system has evolved over time. Like, um, I've often talked to Seth about this, how over, how America, we are okay with violence and, um, blood and guts. We're okay with violence. 
we're okay with violence and um and things of that nature. What we're not okay with is sex and language. Um, cause those are the things that get get a lot of movies into the rated R territory. Um, is is um sex and language. Um, you know how many times you say the f bomb or curse that many times? Like you can say damn in a movie as much as you want to. Like you can say damn. You can say there are certain words that just they don't. You can say um motherfucker. Uh, we, it's fucker. Like, words like fuck and, um, shit. No, you can say shit. You can say shit. Um, there, there are certain words you can say that you can get away with, but there are other words you just, you know, that, that bumps it up to an R rating. But looking at the Blade movies, there aren't any explicit sex scenes in those movies. Um, all, a lot, like I said, a lot of the violent scenes. And the most important bit is that when Blade kills a vampire, they turn into dust. Now, it's nothing to easily just say that Blade stabs a vampire and they just turn into dust. Like, like I said, it's 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 not too complicated. Like, uh, and when I was watching them, like I said, it came to the, I came, I personally came to the conclusion that watching the Blade movies, if you take away some of the, um, over-the-top gore, if you take away, if you take away some of the, some of the foul, some of the foul languages, um, you know, some of the F-bombs and whatnot, that are not even necessary to the plot or the story itself, if you take away some some of the extraness of the blood, the blood bath, the blade landing in the blood, um, if you take away some of that stuff, you're still left with the same movie. You're still left with Wesley Snipes killing vampires. You're still left with vampires eating on people. And the thing is, I've seen other movies that have vampires in it play this up. I recently reviewed um, Attack on the Block. That's a PG-13 movie. I mean, Attack on... Um, no, Vampires versus... Uh, no, is it... Vampires vs. the Bronx. I recently reviewed Vampires vs. the Bronx. And that whole movie was PG-13. And how they got around the violence of the vampires eating people, it, was, it wasn't like the vampires weren't eating people. It's just that they didn't show it. You hear the people scream. You hear someone go away. You hear, like, the, the crunch of a vampire biting his neck. But you know they're dead. You know they're dead. You don't get to see the body. You don't got to see all the gore. You know. Um, and I think sometimes, sometimes people just, like, rated r can be sometimes of a crush sometimes things should be rated r and and some things you can't get around like like like, like it's hard to really get around um punisher i'm not sure how they get around that he's shooting normal people but blade is shooting vampires in fact the vampires can look totally in marvel comics vampires don't even look like people they're they're damn near they're damn near like um the, like, the, they, they can, like, blend into the shadows, and they come up. They're like creatures, actually. Only few vampires in Marvel actually have, like, it's just really Dracula who has an actual form, who's an actual, you know, being with thoughts and stuff. Otherwise, vampires are just hungry creatures that are controlled by Dracula. Um, so, who knows what the routes they can go. They can go the classic, because that's what the classic route was, was, like, the vampires are just these creatures that Blade would hunt down. Um... And like I say, there's many routes they can go. They can go to classic. There's the cartoons that they, the, the, there's cartoons they can um maybe look at. There's a lot of things they can look at to have inspiration for what to do with this new blade. But the thing is, I know a lot of people hold on very hard nostalgically to that old blade. I am one of those people. That original blade one and two and three. I'll throw that in there were big movies for me as an african-american you know i never had seen anything like that i never that was the first time i had ever seen an african-american hero not superhero because i don't really consider blade a superhero but it's the first time i've ever seen an african-american hero but aside from that aspect it was the first time i had ever seen um because i hadn't watched buffy or anything like that i hadn't watched buffy supernatural hadn't been out yet it was the first time um i didn't really know anything about aliens or terminator it was the first time i had ever watched a movie a horror movie, a movie that felt like it was a horror movie, but there was a hero who was more badass than the horror creatures. You know what I mean? Like, like it was awesome. It's why I kind of took the Ben Helsing too with um Hugh Jackman because I just love that concept. I really fell in love with that concept. That's why I ended up loving Buffy. The concept of like these creatures that in their own movies would be the most scary, scary, you know, intimidating thing, but here's this hero who's scary to them and blade really did that for me it, it hit those vibes and i know everyone has a sympathetic has a not sympathetic has a nostalgic 
um, hook on those movies. It's the same thing with the Spider-Man movies. Um, and you know how I feel about that, how I feel about that. Like, I might even make, I've, I've been debating making a video talking about nostalgia and how that can kind of, like, grip people down and, like, make people go, no, this is what it is. I don't care what you got to say to me. This is what it is. And right now, a lot of people, when they hear the word Blade, they think about the Wesley Snipes movies. You have to get that out of your head. It is not going to be the Wesley Snipes movies. Understand this. They're going to do something different. And if you don't want that, then just... Hop off the ship now. Get off the ship now. Comment below and just tell me you're off. Don't bullshit me in the comment section. Just tell me you're off. Because I'm just going to tell you, it's not going to be the same blade. They are going to go for a different vibe. Everything about, most of the things about this blade is going to be different. I, I, I'm not even putting it past them. And I don't think they will. <laughs> I'm not putting it past them that they give them a fucking laser sword. Like, like just to be different. Like, in the MCU, if, if MCU Spider-Man is any indication of anything... Marvel will go out of their way. Like, I can't wait to see what they do with the X-Men and whatnot, but they're going to go out of their way to make their version of their characters unique and different. And that is what's going to happen with Blade. So thank you guys for the Comic Game Movie Show. And comment below, do you think Blade has to be rated R? Or do you think there is room to do something a bit different in the PG-13 department? And like I said, when people hear PG-13, they think the worst. There are a lot, there are horror movies with PG-13 ratings. There are some of the most intense action movies with PG-13 ratings. Hell, The Dark Knight had, had fucking Joker kill a guy with a pencil, and that movie was PG-13. So thank you guys for coming to the Comic Game Movie Show. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.